Israeli forces have also surrounded Al Amal Hospital in Khan Yunis. That's where the headquarters of the Palestinian Red Crescent is. I'm joined by Nabel Fasak, who is the organization's spokesperson, who is in Ramallah. So we were hearing there uh, about NASA Hospital, which is the largest health facility, Al Amal, the second largest hospital. Uh, talk us through the latest, as you understand it, from there. Do you still have a team in the hospital, and what are they saying to you about the state of the hospital now? Good morning. We are extremely worried regarding the safety of our team at Al Amal Hospital and the Palestine Red Crescent headquarters, along with our emergency medical center in Khan Yunis. The total area is uh, under besieged. It is besieged by Israeli occupation forces. Everyone is uh, trapped inside our facilities. No one is able to go out. No one is even able to come in. We have, besides our medical teams, paramedics, and uh, our staff, we have uh, patients and wounded inside Al Amal Hospital, along with thousands of displaced people who are taking shelter inside Al Amal Hospital and the Palestine Red Crescent headquarters. The area now is extremely dangerous. They are hearing strong bombing in the area, and um, they are uh, unable to go out because of how dangerous it is. And everyone, anyone, is trying to move out or just walk in the street is being targeted. The situation is extremely dangerous, and we are now uh, really uh, worried about the safety of our teams there. And when was the last time you were able to communicate with any members of your team there? So the problem now, um, there is complete communication blackout in Khan Yunis. We can't reach any of them over cell phones, landlines, cellular, or even Wi-Fi. The only means of communication is via the VHF waves. So this is not stable, and uh, it is under constant distortion. We were able to connect with them half an hour ago. However, um, the communication is not stable, and this is the only means uh, of communication with them. They have mentioned that our ambulances are unable to respond to the calls from desperate people injured wounded in the area because, um, as I mentioned, our EMS center is also besieged and our ambulances are unable to leave the center to go to reach those uh, wounded people. Right. So that's exactly what we're hearing about NASA Hospital, the uh, uh, emergency services not being able to go out onto the streets to rescue people because of the constant bombardment going on around the hospital. Uh, we're also hearing about uh, lack of medical supplies, uh, lack of doctors even, many doctors who have left the hospital. What is your understanding in terms of what medical facilities are available at, uh, at your particular hospital, Al Amal Hospital? So the situation in Al Amal Hospital is right exactly as what's happening in Al Nasser Hospital. All hospitals who are in south of Gaza have been under intense targeting during the pre previous weeks. This is not the first attack. We got several attacks and bombings in the area of Al Amal Hospital. We got direct attacks at the Palestine Red Crescent headquarters with artillery shelling, which literally destroyed three floors and killed at least seven people who were inside the Palestine Red Crescent headquarters. The situation is extremely dangerous. Um, the, inside the hospital, we are at risk also uh, of a fuel depletion. We have been rationalizing the consumption of the fuel in order to continue providing our life-saving uh, services for a longer time. There is a shortage in medicines and medical supplies, and absolutely, food is also um, a struggle where there is a fixed amount uh, of food um, and the situation, as, as I mentioned, is dangerous. We continue on calling the international community to urgently intervene and uh, provide protection for healthcare workers, paramedics, according to the international humanitarian law. Nabel, I can hear the, uh, the distress in your voice. I really hope your colleagues make it safe. Uh, Nabel Fasak, the organization uh, spokesperson of the Palestinian Red Crescent. Thank you.